Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Good morning. Hope you guys had an amazing and wonderful, beautiful Memorial Day weekend. Cause you're probably gonna watch this on Tuesday most likely. But anyways, I had an amazing weekend. Thanks for asking. Um, and in fact, it was such an awesome weekend. So many things happened that one of the things that happened is the reason I'm making today's video. We're gonna be talking about Bitcoin. Bitcoin! Now, for all you Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and coin enthusiasts out there, well, you guys are pretty aware that we're pretty close to $9,000 per Bitcoin right now. So, obviously, uh oh, all right, hold on. I'm trying not to get run over here. Fucking bus, look at this bus parking here. Worst possible spot. Fucking A, man. You gotta love Mexico, though. <laughs> so, we're gonna talk about Bitcoin. But what, why are we talking about Bitcoin? Look, honestly, I have a huge list. Man, it's really windy. Well, it's nice, though. It's actually 10 in the morning. I got the sun in my face. You know, usually not this early walking this way. And it's kind of windy and it's nice. Finally, because it's been crazy hot because uh may really is the hottest month out here and the reality is is because it just doesn't rain and since it doesn't rain it just accumulates heat every single day but uh you know it's been pretty cloudy recently and uh june's right around the corner and <clears throat> rainy season, rainy season's right around the corner so you know it's gonna be awesome and uh, you're gonna be seeing some really cool footage you know okay so let's i we, let, I, I digress let's get back to what we were going to talk about which is bitcoin and crypto and all this shit <clears throat> now the reason i'm going to be talking about this today and i'm walking and talking as i'm doing it is because i'm trying to reach out to as many of you guys so that you guys can start finally getting this because look one of the things that i had trouble with when i was back in the states was trying to explain to people what bitcoin was what crypto means what this blockchain technology, you know, what it's for, and all these other things, you know, uh, that are topics of discussion around this uh, technology and shit. And the reality is, the reality about this uh, this stuff is like this. I saw I saw this quote. Man, man. Fuck, man. You know, that's the one thing I, 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 that doesn't change no matter where you go. When, uh, you know, when you see someone in a fucking Audi or some fucking nice fancy car, they just do not give a fuck. They just, oh, it's, it's that same mentality, bro. You know, the rich are just, I don't even want to get into that, you know what I mean? But I just hate that, you know what I mean? Because every once in a while you'll bump into someone in a fucking Audi or a Jaguar and they just, you know, going slow, not giving a fuck, doing whatever they want. And, um, and I hate that shit, you know what I mean? Like, it's not... That's why I love Gary Vee so much, because he's one of those guys that, you know, he's one of us. Blue collar as fuck. Um, okay, so back to what I was talking about. So I saw this thing on Twitter, which is, it was a pretty old uh, posting, but someone like, kind of retweeted it or whatever. And it said like this. The reason banks hate Bitcoin is for the same reason that the postal service hate, hated email. And that's it. The rest is history. You know what I mean? I don't know what else to how, how else to explain this. Look at how what email did to the postal industry. And for you youngins out there that don't have any fucking idea what I'm talking about, because you haven't experienced, you weren't around for that. Well, just look it up a little bit. But pretty much everyone that's my age or older, you guys know exactly <clears throat> not only what email has done, but what so many other you know new products and industries have done to the old legacy industries and systems. And so now Bitcoin is the next one. Thing about Bitcoin is it it's taking it this taking this this evolution to the next level, okay? Because just like email was the tip of the iceberg, look at everything that was spawned that was spawned after that, you know what I mean? Through the internet and um, just look at like everything from uh, you know, streaming videos to you know, you can get anything on the internet right now, you know, whether it's a flight to fucking Timbuktu or a new desk or a new tire for your fucking car, whatever the fuck it is, you know? 
uh, Google Maps, Google Search, uh, and, and, and the list goes on endlessly. And so, not only is Bitcoin going to be the next disruptor, it's not going to be. It already is the next disruptor. It's not only, it's not only that, but it's the, te te it's the technology right behind it that is literally going to be the backbone to, to our future. Like that blockchain and all these other things. It's not necessarily just blockchain, but just the technology. And I'm not going to fucking sit here and try to explain, you know, all that technology. That's not what this episode's about. It's just, it's just like telling you guys about the internet. You guys can do the homework yourself, okay? You guys can go online. <laughs> How funny, right? You guys can go and find out exactly what this technology really is and means and represents and shit like that. You just gotta be start getting aware. You just start getting, need, need to, you just need to start becoming more aware, okay? So, back to the beginning of this episode, meaning like, oh, um, there was something that happened this weekend, which brought, you know, which wanted me to really more, talk about this more to you guys than usual. The thing is, it's like this. When I, I was helping my, my girlfriend move on Friday, and, um, you know, from a new place to the other, you know, just like we all do all the time. And um, as I was doing that, in between, you know, the whole movement or whatever, you know, I was meeting some of her friends and family and all that sort of shit. And how about this? Her grandma, the 73 years old, understood Bitcoin. I mean, not only did she understand Bitcoin, but when, when she found out all the things that I did and that I also do that, um, she was like, oh shit, really? And it's not that she, she didn't know about Bitcoin. She just fucking found out about it, um, <laughs> you know, the other day, literally, as uh, my girl was telling her grandma about me. And then she explained, you know, in layman terms, what this stuff is. And, you know, grandma was like, oh shit, that exists. That's a new thing. That's a thing. And she was like crazy excited. She was like, oh wow, this guy's awesome. You know, all these other things. And even though I've experienced that a million times out here in Mexico already, it wasn't until, you know, the grandma literally was able to, to tell me about that. I'm just looking across the street because they got like a, like a new art expo. You probably can't see it over there, but maybe we'll walk and we'll see you in the next couple of days. But when she was able to, to understand that, when she was able to understand that and realize, you know, what this was like that. And it made, and then, you know, then I started going back into, you know, <laughs> to, to when I was in the United States and like nobody got it. No matter who the fuck it was I was talking to. I, I mean, I, I used to talk to all kinds of people, you know, people that were worth millions of dollars that were like financial, you know, people. Um, Cause remember I was in Los Angeles. So I was, uh, I was uh, bumping up against all kinds of people out there. And long story short, the only people that really understood it were people in the porn industry. I mean, that's it, you know? There was only a few people here and there. You know, I'm sure you guys know who those people are that got it, you know, meaning, you know, other YouTubers or, you know, other people that are nerds like us, you know, super into this shit. But, you know, the reality is that, you know, most people in tech, most people in Silicon Valley, most nerds, most whatever, they don't even fucking know what this shit is, you know? Most people around the world don't know what this stuff really is. And, the thing is that when you try to explain this stuff to people, they don't get it, they don't get it, they don't get it. Nobody gets it, nobody fucking ever gets it. But yet, how come I come out here and there's like barely any technology out here? I'm just gonna be straight up 100% honest, you know? There just isn't, we've talked about this plenty of times. There's not really that much technology out here. It's not, it's not like a thing, you know? It's not, you know, there's so many other industries that come out of uh, not just this area, but out of Mexico. And uh, that's just not one of those those things. I mean, you know, there's plenty of places around the world that, that, you know, that is the main export. You know, like technology and all this other shit. It's just not here. But yet, everybody gets it. I have yet to literally meet anyone that doesn't get it. That doesn't understand what Bitcoin is. Doesn't understand what this technology is in one shape or another. And the reality is that, you know, all I got to do is explain Bitcoin. I don't even got to explain all this other shit. And they just get it. Everybody just gets it out here, which is, you know, it's pretty intense. It's pretty insane. And and the, the now, you know, now to come to, to the topic as to why people get it. Why, why do people really get it out here? Why do some people in some parts of the world get it like that, but the majority of people just don't fucking get it? And I'm going to tell you right now, it's because most people around the world have no use for this shit yet. So like in the United States right now, Nobody has a fucking use for Bitcoin or crypto or anything like that. There just isn't a need. Same as Europe and shit like that. Now, that's not everywhere. 
as you guys already know because of the economic downturn and so many other things in fact there's uh there's plenty of parts of europe that not only use bitcoin and crypto but you know they're fully aware of what it is and it's already part of an economy and you know a lot of parts of uh, central america and a lot of parts around the world china asia you name it but you know the reality is is that um you know most people just the reason they don't investigate or they just don't get it the reason most people just don't get it is because they've never had uh they never they, they, they can't even fathom of the scenario in which they'll need it number one number two no one has the financial education whether whether the financial education came from from a school or came from life itself people just don't have that shit. and so with, with just those two they just like a combination of those two alone that's why nobody fucking gets it just nobody gets it nobody understands you know the whole thing with the fed and the dollar a gold standard what's up what what is that what, what gives a value to the u.s dollar you know what you know what why why are these things the way they are you know not only is no one educated on these things but no one even gives a fuck all right they just don't and so you know with that being said you know that's why nobody really knows what it is now again if you go to like the trading trading of uh cryptocurrencies bitcoin all that shit um you know some of the you know most of the trading and most of the other shit happens you know happens in the u.s and why is that because again most people just see this you know like a big connect you know like a penny stocks you know just like a way to make money that's that's all the only thing that people look at it as as a way to make money and again there's plenty of people out here and around the world that look at it the same way and there's no reason to not use it that way to make money as well you know there's a lot of traders out there shout out to all of you guys that trade all the fucking time I'm, I'm, I'm now that we're heading back into a bull run i'm gonna see if i can learn a little bit about trading myself so that i can also earn some extra income but the reality is that this is this is all about a long game you know the long game it and and um if you're playing this as the long game and you're not just playing it as uh you know um a thing that's like a fad then you realize that you're playing with something that's like the equivalent of the new the new internet um you know it's the equivalent of a light bulb the equivalent of electricity the equivalent of the printing press you know it's something like that it's it's a majorly disruptive technology that is going to just affect the world in so many ways it's already affecting the world in a million ways and the reality is is that again when you explain this to pretty much any anyone that cannot use the dollar anyone that cannot use the banking system they get it right away they immediately get it it's not even like a thing or it's difficult to understand and that's that's the major problem when since most people out there do not have those restrictions put upon them about using the dollar using the banking system using all these other things you know that's why there's no real need for it and um when you know when i when that's why when like a grandma i'm talking to grandma here i'm talking to a taxi driver I'm talking to so many people out here they get it like that because you know these restrictions are part of life out here and people have already found ways around it and if all of a sudden you give them a technology like bitcoin in which they can really get around it around the system it's like i mean come on it's like a dream come true so that's why certain like most people around the world they understand and get crypto like that and the people that don't get it they're the ones that are really going to suffer because they just never suffered they've never really had currency problems they've never have been starving to death because uh because of their currency situation and things like that and that's 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 a, just the reality of it you know a lot of times when me or other youtubers out there talk about what's going to happen to america how it's going to fall so hard and so many people are going to suffer and blah 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 same thing as europe it's i mean come on man you know this shit's like not rocket science you know the reason this shit's going to happen is just basically because of the fact that you know nobody nobody you know has ever been through any of these fucking problems no one's ever had to deal with um with these currency problems or been hungry or been any of that shit you know like just look at the people in venezuela you know, you know crypto has been illegal there for fuck, i want to say a year now you don't, you don't see any problem with people using crypto over there um and all over the world you know what i mean all over the world no matter where they ban it people are still using it all the fucking time and um 
and again the, the the larger the currency problem the larger you know the actual economic problem that's happening within the country and it all stems from the dollar um the more that they're willing to use these things because again they got to eat they got to they got to do business they got to do so many other things and i've shown you countless videos from all over the world in which you know in which uh, you know we're, we're going to venezuela we're going to middle east you know we're going wherever the fuck and uh you know it looks just like where i'm at here now you know what i mean just like a lot of people think i'm living in like a third world country everything's all like you know living in a hut type of shit and it's not you know what i mean like this is just like back home this is just like europe this is just like the us it's just like everywhere else like that and uh and that's the majority of the world i mean again you know just look at my background i'll show you this background you know so you guys can get you know you guys can keep getting reminded of uh, where i am you know i'm just, i mean seriously and People get that shit twisted all the fucking time. And um, again, I've shown you plenty, plenty of places here, or but you've seen plenty of places around the world that are better than the U.S. They're just, you know, a lot better, better than Europe right now. And, uh, you know, almost everyone has dealt with some sort of hardship. And dealt it, and this hardship has been brought on. Yeah, I think it's getting windy. Let me see if I can climb up here. And, you know, a lot of this hardship has literally been brought on by the U.S., by the dollar, by all of these things. So... Just like Mr. Sherman said a few weeks ago, um, the congressman from California, that was lit he literally said this verbatim. The reason that we need to ban and get rid of crypto and Bitcoin is because it is going to literally take the power away from the dollar and from the US military industrial complex, literally. Okay, so... And that, that should say enough. That should say more than enough. This is like if all of a sudden the Postal Service 20 years ago said, listen, the reason we got to ban email is because it's going to fuck up the U.S. Postal Service. You know, that kind of shit. And that's literally what the fuck just happened, you know, a, a couple weeks ago. And a lot of people are like, oh, why is there like a bull run? You know, why are all these things happening? Blah, blah, blah. What the price action, all this other shit. And it's like, you know, people are just they're just still not getting it. You know, everyone around the world heard Mr. Sherman say what he said. Um, if it wasn't confirmed to them before, now it was 1 billion percent confirmed. There's other countries that are doing the same thing. So, you know, for example, Iran might be banning Bitcoin and crypto, but they're not really going to ban it. They, they need to use it. They are going to use it. Right now, Russia and, and Venezuela are using uh, some sort of crypto in order to trade oil, trade commodities, trade, you know, and so on and so forth. And so many more countries are going to be doing the same thing as time goes on. And, 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 and as more of these countries jump on board and more of this stuff happens, well, you're going to be seeing less U.S. dollar dominance. You're going to be seeing less, um, you know, less um, uh, influence by the U.S. and its army and so on and so forth. Because if all of a sudden no one's accepting dollars anymore and these dollars aren't worth anything, everything's going to start getting hyperinflated. And it doesn't matter how big and it doesn't matter how fucking big our fucking army is. At the end of the day, if you can't pay your army, if you can't maintain your army, you don't have a fucking army. All right. And we've seen this in history many times before. So I'm going to end this episode here because obviously you already know I'm here and I got to get going. But all this episode really is, is just like a public service announcement to anyone out there that still has no fucking idea what Bitcoin or cryptocurrency is. You better start learning and start learning quick. All right. Because you will be left behind. All right. And you will be, you know, um, the victims at the end of the day. I mean, just don't be that person. All right. Educate yourself. It's all about education, education, education. It's all about knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. OK, if you want to fucking make these trips and like move abroad and do all the things that I do, whatever the fuck it is, you need to know about this stuff. If you're not fine, if you're not if, if you don't have financial knowledge, if you don't know how to you know deal with your finances one way or another, you're not going to fucking survive period in the story. And especially not, you know, as the, this thing continues to move forward. OK, this beast continues to grow and so on and so forth. So please, by all means educate yourselves out there okay and um for any, anyone out there that already knows you know all this stuff about crypto and bitcoin use this as a again public service announcement to keep spreading the word to keep honing in your knowledge on on what this subject is so you can help explain it to more and more people around the world and stop trying to fucking influence people that have a lot of fucking money fuck them try to you got to sell this shit to the people that don't have any money that don't have any you know like an immigrant you know there's plenty of people around the world in which you know bitcoin is really here for the small people you know the less you have the more you have to gain from crypto it's as simple as that okay and um and for anyone out there that doesn't know anything about bitcoin or crypto or any of this shit please start educating yourself 
start looking at other YouTube channels. Ask me questions. Ask people in my community about questions. You know, start looking at other YouTube videos. Start, you know, looking at the history of money, the history of gold and silver and the US dollar and, and all of these other things. I mean, seriously, well, if you really understand the history of money and the history of currency and the history of the dollar and the history of gold and the history of all this shit, Man, Bitcoin is so very self-explanatory. That's why people, even grandma out here, you know, fucking understands it. Even the, even that guy out there, I can explain it to him in two minutes and he gets it. But you go to the United States of America and you can't, you can't explain this to anybody. Nobody fucking gets it, no matter what the level of education it is. So, and it's not about technology. This is not about technology. This is about money. It's about currency, okay? It's about freedom, freedom, okay? Basically, that's it. So guys, Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I want to say a big shout out to all my patrons out there, to all my supporters. You know, thank you so much for helping me feed Lambo, helping me feed myself. Thank you, thank you. Thank you to all, uh, everyone out there that leaves comments, that leaves thumbs up, that everyone, everyone out there. Shout out to everyone that leaves suggestions, you know, whether it's telling me, hey, you know, you should just sit down and record instead of walking around or whatever it is. Every suggestion is is, is taken. And I, I'm gonna, I love all, making all kinds of videos. And uh, honestly, I wanna make videos that you guys wanna watch. I know you guys already wanna watch me and watch me all the time, but I really wanna continue making better content for, for you guys and for me and for everybody. All right, we're all in this together. By the way, I think I should start going out more early in the morning so I can record because look, it's not overheating. Fuck yeah. So, yeah, man, and I know, and it actually feels cooler. I'm telling you, the weather's already changing. Guys, speaking of changing, I gotta change. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Thank you so much, I love you guys. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please share, share, share this knowledge, okay? And have an amazing rest of your day, have an amazing rest of your week. I hope you had an amazing weekend. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the live stream. As always, peace out. Thanks again.